This video is sponsored by Excellent Construction. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about cracks in wall. There are different looking cracks. If the crack is wider at the top of the wall and stepping down the bricks diagonally through the mortar, it is possible the foundation has settled unevenly. There may be a different soil condition under that parts of the foundation. The soil under the wedge breaking off is lower than the rest under the wall. This same problem can cause a crack that runs parallel to the vertical edge of the wall, close to the top of the wall. The split can only be an inch for every 40 feet of the wall, much more and it could be structurally damaged. If the cracks continue to grow, you might lose the wall. Cracks parallel to the ceiling of a foundation may be caused by heavy water saturated soil pushing it in. This may be a drainage issue and reinforcing the wall from the inside and forming a slope outside. The drain water away from the wall can help. If the cracks are from chipping off the surface in a wide area or cracking unformly around the edges, you may have some chemical attack and the wall will get worse. This is possibly a water issue or the soil pH. Normal settling over. As a house ages, homeowners can expect some normal wear and tear, including some minor settling. When this happens, you may notice hairline cracks over door and window. Why it happens? In a nutshell, it happens because things move. The ground beneath your foundation tends to shift slightly with changes in weather. These tiny movements are not dangerous, but they can lead to small non-damaging cracks in the weak spots in your wall. The place where door and window have been inserted. So what to do? Thin cracks just a few places above door and window can be re-tapped and paint to restore. But if you notice a lot of cracks, deeper cracks or other concern, talk with the foundation repair company for advice. So next thing is a new build. If your home was built within the last few years, it's very likely that you may notice some small wall cracks showing up. Why it happens? Because it is so fresh, new lumber typically contains a high amount of moisture. It dries out it, trends shift a bit, the slight movement can cause small cracks in a home's wall, typically at the joint where sheets of dry wall meet. So what to do? These small cracks are likely nothing to worry about. But it's good idea to wait for your home to be at least a year old before you address them. Waiting gives the wood time to dry completely and finish it minor settling. At that point, you can retap the cracked drywall joint and repaint. Next one is home left vacant. Is your home often vacant? Perhaps become it's a vacation home, a rental property, or a new home that was on the market for a while before you bought it. If so, you may see cracks occurring in wall and ceilings. So why it happen? Regular reliable climate control does more for your home than making it comfortable for you. It also keeps your drywall in good shape. When a home is left vacant, the lack of climate control can cause drywall cracks. So what to do? A cosmetic issue, these cracks can be usually handled by re-tapping rival joint and repainting. But if a home has been empty for a long time, a true inspection from top to bottom, including a professional foundation inspection, is a small idea. Thing is a leak. If the cracks in your wall are showing discoloration, such a brown or yellow tint strain, then the problem may be the result of water 
damage to your home. Why it happens? Leaky windows and roof can cause moisture to get into your home's wall. So what to do? Before you do anything else, find the source of the leak and repair it. Once repair are complete and there no chance of additional moisture damage, you can replace the damage drywall. Next thing is foundation damage. Unfortunately, cracking in your wall and ceiling may also be the result of damage to your foundation if you are seeing large cracks that more than quarter inch wide. So that have you concerned about your foundation, it's definitely time to have your home checked. There are a number of causes of foundation issues. Foundation issues should be addressed by a professional. Have a foundation inspection and any needed repairs performed as soon as possible to prevent the problems from worsening. So, of cracks likely with foundation damage. I'll tell. Cracks are wider than a quarter inch. Horizontal cracks, sizable cracks extending diagonally from the concern of doors. Unusually long cracks. Cracks all over your home. Cracks on both the interior and exterior of the wall. Cracks on your home's second floor. So these are some important thing about cracks. So you just consider about this. See you guys.